just give you a quick example. And, and to set this up, um, in this scenario, we will be pretend that we are uh, a, you know, a user whose name is George Palom Palomero. So George is a, uh, was a security guard before the pandemic, but when the pandemic hit, um, he, you know, he had difficulty making ends meet. So he decided to apply to be a Grab driver. Now, the, unfortunately, if you're a driver, if you're a gig worker, you know, typically it's very hard for you to get access to financial services. But yeah, in the case of this um, uh, example, Filipinas Bank has decided to partner with Smile to be able to give people like George easy access to financial services. So let's see how that works. Um, okay, so let me go back to my browser. Uh, let's do a preview. So hopefully it's coming through. Um, okay. So here, okay, so this is the, the um, login of, of Filipinas Bank. Let's say I am George. Um, if it's my first time using this app, I'm going to sign up. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna use our sandbox um, environment. Um, it'll, ask, it'll ask for my email. So I, I've pre-typed it here. So my full name, let's just say sandbox user. Okay, so I sign up. So what happens behind the scenes is, it, you know, like in your app, right? It will probably save to a database or probably sync with your CRM or whatever you have set up behind the scenes. But what you can actually do is if you integrate with Smile, you can actually call, make an API call um, and then be able to retrieve the information to be able to go through a linking process. Uh, so to, to illustrate that, so let's say I'm George, I'm interested in applying for a loan. Um, I'll, I'll apply for a bridge loan. Um, it says here, there's two financial products available. If you're a gig worker, um, uh, Filipinas Bank can approve my loan application instantly with very low interest rates because there's very little cost to kind of verify the data. But if, if, if I were like an employee and I had to go through the traditional process, I would have to submit my company ID, employment certificate, upload my payslip. It'll probably take, you know, five or more business days. And so... So typically for financial services companies, this is where they see a lot of fall off or, you know, as Jerome mentioned, a lot of friction in the process. Okay, so since this is Philippines Bank, again, they're using the Smile API. I'm a gig worker. I'm, um, I select that. Um, now, uh, Philippines Bank calls the Smile API, retrieves the list of employment platforms uh, Smile has in its, in its network of, of providers. Um, let's say I select um, that I'm a Grab driver. I, um, it calls the something that Smile calls the Wink widget. So the Wink widget is that mechanism by which we can link the employment data uh, to Smile. So it asks first for the consent of the user, um, and then we click on Get Started, um, and then asks for my uh, user information. So I'm a Grab driver. So I have to select uh, Philippines plus 63. Um, okay, so I have to, so for purposes of this demo, uh, you we're using a sandbox account. So this is very important. So it, the sandbox account is actually available in our documentation. If you go to docs.getsmileapi, you go to getting user data, you will see a link here on the right called testing in sandbox. You will see here a sample login information for George Palomero. So I'm gonna get his number. I'm gonna go back to the screen, enter that number. Okay, and then and then it sends that you know are able to log in, grab um, like like in most uh, employment platforms they probably have a verification mechanism. It will send a um, a verification code or one time pin to my phone number. I enter that, um, and then that's it. Um, and then the data should have been linked. Right, so behind the scenes, Smile um, does the heavy lifting, uh, talks to the system of Grab, um, pulls the necessary information that might be useful for you guys uh, to I, to to vet uh, George's identity and and see his you know capability to repay the loan. So so then it says, uh, "Thank you, your your account data has been linked." So so the account should have been linked. Um, so there's a, 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 a uh, behind the scenes, again, Smile gets the, the needed information to get uh, George's profile. Um, so there, so his uh, full name, his 
yeah, contact information like email or phone number, depending on what he has shared with the platform, uh, becomes available to you. So not only his identity uh, information, but also um, his uh, transactions, right? So so there. So transactions is essentially like his financial information in the platform. It's like your bank statement. You, you see the cash coming in and the cash going out. To, to maybe that might be useful for your you know credit scoring or or things like that. Um, if the information is not enough, you can always ask him to, um, you know, um, uh, key in more information. So you can use the same data to pre-populate your sign-up form again for the purposes of reducing the friction in the sign-up process, so you don't lose people um, in the onboarding uh, for your particular applications. So that's essentially how it works. Um, so it's instant. Um, and then there, you can provide a very good user experience. So no, very little friction happens in minutes, not days. So awesome.